Cloud Geometry and Claritype present AI for Better BI with the data you already have. Okay. Well, why can't we just use text to SQL? I mean, well, why can't why can't we create an LLM that takes a question and translates it into a SQL statement that will get what we need? I think there's a lot. There are a number of reasons. I mean, empirically, we're getting no higher than about 90% accuracy on that. And the 10%- that Sounds pretty good, though. It does. But that 10% destroys trust. So um, I know a number of people who have delivered this in, in organizations with really large budgets, really large budgets, lots of data, elite teams uh, that have been doing data projects for a long time. And I know of some circumstances in which it almost worked. But really had to be taken back out of, of general availability because it completely destroyed faith in the system. So as soon as it smuggles in like weird data and pretends like it's a column name or imagines that it can answer something that isn't even in the data, business users really fundamentally can't use it anymore. And I think that's the nature of it. If you tell it to translate an impossible problem, it's going to you know give you its best effort, even if it has to fake the existence of some things. So this is a bit of a misfit. I think in the long term, we may find a number of techniques uh, in addition to knowledge graphs, like you and I, of course, have found a lot of ways in which knowledge graphs already solve this problem. But text to SQL as it is today just doesn't have enough information. The odd column names, the encodings of, of numbers doesn't have the inherent business meaning that lets it go from natural language all the way down to that highly encoded technical level, where the knowledge graph does give it a target that does make sense according to its foundational model and according to you know a direct translatable target from the from the natural language input. Okay. Well let's talk about those knowledge graphs. So explain what they are and what they do. Sure. Yeah. I think everybody who thinks about this has kind of dabbled with knowledge graphs for for decades actually. I think for a long time, um, you know, object databases were, were the earliest versions. I mean, your every whiteboard diagram is essentially a knowledge graph if you're going to explain something at a high level. I think back in the ERD days, we called them concept models. I think most people didn't actually draw a concept model. They went right to the logical model and then a physical model so that they could build their warehouse. But there was a concept model, which was really just trying to be the highest level, you know, what's connected to what? A person, you know, buys an asset. Uh, via a transaction. So, so that I think a knowledge graph is nothing more complicated than that.